connecting to an Enterprise Service Manager or ESM using your live monitoring console. So in a previous tutorial we showed you where in an unmanaged environment the administrator would provide you a DAT file which contains the IP address or addresses of the NVRs you can connect to on your network. If on the other hand you have an Enterprise Service Manager on your network then you'll be required to authenticate yourself or your live monitoring console software to that server. So three things will be provided to you. The IP address of the ESM server, a username, and then a password. So I have that information and I'm going to start connecting the process of connecting my live monitoring console to an ESM. For that I go under File Preferences. Under the ESM Connection tab and I'll say connect to an ESM. Now if you only have or are working with the one, you just enter the one here. If you have more than one at your location, then it's probably best to make a small list of these and then you'll be, um, the list will come up whenever you launch your software, you'll be able to uh, connect to whichever ESM you would like. So I only have the one, I'm going to go with this entry here, that's the IP address provided to me by the administrator and I'm going to hit OK. So I need to restart the software, so I'll do that. So now, instead of just launching into the software, the software is connecting to the ESM. The ESM is asking me to authenticate. So the guard was the uh, username that was provided to me. and a password and now I am connected and you'll see that down here on the status bar where it says I'm connected to the specific enterprise service manager now, if you don't see the status bar look under toolbars here uh, make sure the status bar is selected and just to make sure you are connected to the Enterprise Service Manager and it doesn't say refused or failed or, or something else. Okay, once I'm connected to the Enterprise Service Manager, that server will provide me a list of all NVRs I am allowed to connect to. So this is the, the NVR I've been tasked with monitoring. And again, this is done by the administrator. That person will select which NVRs I can or cannot see. And then it's a matter of then bringing up the live video.